What's up Scrollgers, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to do another ranked match video. Yesterday's ranked match video was kind of lackluster, it was a very short match, and it was incredibly one-sided for me. So I'll do another one today with the same deck. And I didn't lose, um, that's not why I moved down in the rankings from number one, it's just that both Cantor and PDOs passed me, so let's see if I can pass them back with a win. I think, I think Cantor is about 7 rating above me right now. So let's queue up with our mono energy deck, and I will be back when match is found. And a match is found, so let's join that. Lefayar, this he is a strong player that I know of. And although I don't have a two drop to play, I do have a three drop, and I have a spark I could play on turn two if I need to. So I'm going to just get rid of the Ironclad Reaver. I know it's nice to have the Ironclad Reaver on curve, but I think a spark on turn two would be really nice, especially if he's like growth and I need to get rid of Brave or something. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of the Kenneta. I think Storm Runner is excellent. Uh, I have nothing to spark this turn, but th just having the double burn, I want to keep the starting hand because double burn will make sure I'm ahead in resources and stuff. So I could play Storm Runner here. I think I'm just gonna spark though, or I mean I could just burn the Brave after. Hmm. Let's. let's worst case scenario, he just plays another brave, but I could burn it the next turn. I'm just gonna play the storm runner. Effectively use my resources. I'm just gonna burn that brave this coming turn. We'll see what he does. Hopefully, it puts down something I can burn the following turn after I burn this brave. Back to back burns would just put him so far behind me in scrolls. So play like a breaker or something like that. Not a Terrain Brute or an Earthborn Mystic. Terrain Brute. Guess I might need. It's gonna be hard to take care of that. I'm just gonna burn you, and if he has a Rat King, then I might be in some trouble. Potion Resistance is amazing against Growth, so I'm going to keep hold of that. And is it possible for him to attack this turn? It actually isn't. Even if he plays a Rat King, then this Terran Brute's um, countdown would not be at zero, and he can't veteran me this turn either. Another Terran Brute, these things are not burnable. And now I wish I had the spark back. Uh, let's see, let's see. Dust Runner. I do like the Oculus Cannon in my hand. I'm not gonna get rid of the burn, because I know something's gonna, I, after I hit this guy, I'll be able to burn him the next turn. I'm gonna get rid of the Dust Runner for scrolls. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I can I can Oculus Cannon Overdrive next turn. I can Machinate it to take out one of these guys. I think I should just Machinate to take out one of them. Yeah, sure. I could Potion of Resistance you as well, but you have four Countdown now, so he's not that useful. So I'm just going to do that. I'll let him use the Veteran on him if that's something I could burn. So, if he has a veteran right now, he'll surely play it. He moves, he moves up, and he, yeah, he does have a veteran. And now, I could just burn that. And I think I, yeah, I'm just gonna burn that. My idols are not being threatened that much. The game is slowly developing, so I feel like I've, I can afford to just slowly develop my scrolls. Get rid of the gun on its own, I'd rather have all these other more impact scrolls than just gun on its own. He does have, um... Decent things on the board. This coming turn, maybe I'll just mount dispersal of the turn brute. Where he does play, is he gonna play two creatures? He does play two creatures. And he is separating for a possible Oculus Cannon overdrive. So let's see. Hired Smuggler. Hmm. I think I'm just going to. No, I'm going to sacrifice for scrolls, the potion of resistance. Or mount dispersal. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the mount dispersal. I need like a Alright, that was good. So, but I need to play something that Hmm. 
because I might be playing a potion of resistance next turn on the Reaver. So, I mean, chances of him having another, another veteran are not that high. So I am just gonna play the Storm Runner and the Hired Smuggler. If he has another veteran, I'm probably gonna be in a bit of trouble here. And he goes for scrolls. Does he have the second veteran? It doesn't look like he does. Or maybe he does. He doesn't. And he plays uh, Rat King. So that means that this guy will be attacking next turn. And he separates for a possible Thunder Surge. And that's that. So this turn. I mean, still, an Oculus Cannon and Overdrive, I could take out two units on top here, but I'm not really threatening them by right now, other than my idols. So I could just Tempest Reaver, Potion of Resistance, or Iron Cloud Reaver, Potion of Resistance. Um, I think I'm just going to use the Iron Cloud Reaver, though. A reason to go to six resources, also. I'm not going to go fishing for a Bombard of Unsack for Scrolls. So I think this is good. Growth has really no way of getting through Potion of Resistance other than Rumble, so hopefully it doesn't have one of those. And if my... Both of these guys can survive, then they should probably deal some damage, especially combined with an Oculus Cannon Overdrive. So no rumble, please. And it doesn't look like he has a rumble because he's moving around. He is going to get some growth from this. And uh, let's see. We're actually kind of kind of even in the resource and scrolls department. I have one more resource because two more scrolls. He's, it looks like he's still trying to separate for a Thunder Surge, which I am fine with if I don't have Thunder Surge in my hand, but it will hurt if I draw a Thunder Surge. And a Nog Nest. And is he gonna play a three drop? No. Okay, so now how am I gonna do this? Ooh, a Bombard. You know, an Oculus Cannon Overdrive this turn doesn't even do that much. I think it's safer to save the Oculus Cannon and the Bombard. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of the Overdrive. Because I can always Oculus Cannon Bombard and my Oculus Cannon wouldn't be taken down. And there is a Machinated and a Capella Temperature. That was pretty perfect. So do I want to take out the Terrain Brute or the Nognes? I'd probably rather get take out the, the Terrain Brute, but then this is vulnerable to a veteran. Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna take the vulnerability to a Kinfolk veteran. And I will move you towards the middle of the board because you're gonna be attacking soon. I will machinate it. And I'll play the Tempest Reaver down here, just because I'm a little afraid of an idle step down here. Um I'm kind of just going to give up these two idols towards the top of the board if I need to. And I have an Oculus Cannon Bombard for next turn, which would not make this Stormrunner attack. These does have a massive 4 countdown now, but my other ranged creatures would be able to attack. And I, if I, I could actually get this guy to deal 1 damage by sacrificing resources as well, which might be enough to kill this eventual better. So we shall see. Maybe, I, actually, now I'm wishing I didn't move, put the Storm Server all the way in the bottom, which he was like here. Alright, he does have another veteran, but he had four counts on now anyways. So, uh, two times already in this match, he's he's a Kinfolk veteran to my Machinated Storm Runner after it attacked though, so it already did a bunch of damage. And he keeps his Brave up top and kills that. Okay, well, what can I do here? If I, oh, I don't want to sacrifice a burn though. If I sacrifice a burn for resources, and I, you know, well, I mean, I don't really have to do an Oculus Cannon Bombard this turn. It doesn't really accomplish much. I could take out some extra creatures, but I think it's just better to just burn, right? A Bombard is so nice. Uh... 
Let's just, yeah, let's burn the brave. Overdrive. Sucks to have to have an overdrive in hand right now. I think I'm just going to have to sacrifice it, though. I could play the bombard still. No, nah, I'm not going to. And another Oculus Cannon. So, should I take out this? Or the Nog Nest? I'm going to take out the Nog Nest. I have, as energy, I have a lot of ways to take out little minions, little creatures like Ventral Letter. It's hard for, much harder for me to take out four health things. So, that's why I chose to do that. And I can go with a Oculus Cannon Bombard this coming turn. Hopefully he doesn't have, or he does have a Mirth, Earth Mirth to kill this. Unfortunately, but still a four cost scroll to kill a four cost scroll. But he does get to keep the Earth Mirth, but this thing will be dying shortly. <laughs> and that's it. So now, Echomaton is not the best against growth. It's not the worst though. Uh, what do I want to do here? I'm actually going to get rid of the Echomaton for scrolls. Okay, another Bombard. Wow. We're drawing a lot of Bombards here. But a Bombard here doesn't really accomplish much. I think I'm just going to Vile Dispersal. I know it seems like a not a great play to Vile Dispersal, a 3 health creature, because Growth has some other threatening guys. But I don't really have another play, and this guy dies very easily to other things I can do. And I did decide to kill the rat instead of hitting an idol. I want to make sure I have board presence versus growth, and my idols are starting to get ticked down all over. So I have to be kind of afraid for some incoming things. And he's at 8 resources, so I have to watch out for like a god hand. And uh, seeing as I already sacrificed 2, I mean I'm gonna get, actually I can get rid of the Echomaton. I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm just gonna, Akus kind of bombard this turn, I'm gonna go for resources. I'm going to take you down, and I'm also going to be able to draw a structure here. I don't mind going for more resources now. Also, I'm protected in the middle row because of the pillage. And hopefully, this Oculus Cannon will survive another turn. It likely will. I don't think he would play like a God Hand or a Rally this turn just to take out an Oculus Cannon. And then it will be ready to attack next turn because I can play another bombard with an oculus cannon and have the smuggler maybe hit an idol again so it is looking good for me right now right now these guys are set up perfectly for an oculus cannon bombard and i will do an oculus cannon bombard um i could actually cannon and a bombard machinated so would i rather do that no it takes an extra extra scroll let's get rid of the cannonetta for scrolls i like Forge a lot versus growth. Nice high health. But he might be running Quake considering he's already at 8 resources and he has Nognas in the deck. Whatever, I'll, I'll get rid of Kennedy right here. And I'll just do the Oculus Cannon Bombard play. And I'm going to move up so I'm actually engaging this Nognas and hide my smuggler behind the. Reaver, so that's good. Now I've kind of dealt a bunch of idle damage like he has to me, and we're pretty close in scrolls and resources. I wish I could have played the hired smuggler that turn as well, so I can draw two structure scrolls, but that's all right. This coming turn, if I'm not really all right, plays that. I'm a little, I was a little afraid of an earthen mirth here. Does he have an earthen mirth to take out? It doesn't look like it, so he doesn't take out my ironclad reaver right there. And hopefully I got a burn or a spark so I can take out the Nog Nest. If I don't, it wouldn't be the end of where I could just move down and secure the middle of the board. Do I want to go for resources now? Um, I actually do because I want to play a Forge, Storm Runner, and a Heart Smuggler. So I'll get rid of the Echomaton. I'm just going to move down, make you invincible, play down a forge, play a storm runner and a hired smuggler. 
So there's not much he can do to bust in. And I have a machinated ready to go for this storm runner when he when he happens to attack. Whew. And with those Oculus cannons facing down both those rows, I should be able to win kind of soon. Or maybe not, because I don't have I already used a couple bombards and I already think I maybe already sacrificed all three overdrives. I'm not positive. So this turn I will uh probably not really that worth to get another forge on the field i'll see like i said it's very hard for him to come back in the game right now if he has like a ragged wolf god hand he can do some things he'd really need a series of god hands and he probably needs to get like a rat king out or something but i haven't drawn any of my thunder searches yet which i could draw very soon so he just plays a great wolf and there's a thunder surge uh i'm gonna keep the thunder surge in the match and i'll get rid of the forge and I don't have any real big thing. I can't. I have no way of killing these guys this turn, unfortunately. So I'm a little worried now. I am going to draw and hit an idol. Oh, and also there's going to be two nogs right here. So they can maybe kill the Ironclad Reaver. A little worried. I'm just gonna pump twice and play a hired smuggler. All right, yeah. I'm gonna actually play the hired smuggler, protecting this guy. Okay, so since he has this guy at zero counts on, this would be probably an interesting turn to god hand at. If he has a ragged wolf god hand, that worries me. I mean. Puts it there. What's he gonna do? He hasn't moved in front of my Oculus cams. Oh, there's a move. Okay, so is this gonna be. What's he gonna do? That's strange. He doesn't destroy my Oculus gun and it attacks all his creatures there. That was an odd move, I think. That may have been a mistake because I'm just gonna Thunder Surge him here and he is going to be hurt a lot um so with machine it might have close to a win but still so if you know i think i'm definitely gonna thunder this turn so i'm just gonna do that before i sacrifice and play anything and that's gonna kill both of those you can kill that you can hit an idol and i actually can kill that one nog and I'm going to get down a Canada so I could clear the board with a spark there actually I'm gonna protect the side a little bit considering he also has a storm runner he can take it out with a veteran and boom so yeah good thing I had that thunder surge and he had an interesting it was interesting that he was, didn't kill this Oculus Cannon. And he played the God Hand without having done so. There's a Rat King. Hopefully I draw another Thunder Surge. Or a Bombard to just win this kind of soon. And another Rat King. So that makes me think he does indeed have another God Hand. Um, he only has one thing that's going to have more than, more than three attack though. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the Valent Dispersal because I have to get rid of these little weenies, not not super powerful creatures. And I don't really have a great way of getting rid of them. I just have to put in front uh, healthier things. So how do I want to do this? I'm gonna put something with four health in front of every row. So I guess I could put a Ironclad Reaver in front of the Ironclad Reaver. And then I could move you down and just play an Oculus Cannon in front. And I'll also... Sp I could also... Sp if I spark that, then I won't have enough... I do want to spark that because that's going to have 4 attack. Um, let's go ahead and... 
indeed spark. Because he only has two things attacking this row, so that's not too bad. And then I'll play the Ironclad Reaver there, move down like this, and play the Gun Automaton right there. Okay, I like how I did that. Because if he were to have a God Hand this turn, he can't really do anything to me. He can destroy, like, these three creatures. But he would probably be proccing Oculus Cannons and stuff like that. So I'm really happy that I kind of let him have these top two items, but I'm protecting these three. And actually, he's given to kill the other Ironclad or the God Hand. Oh, he's a sacrifice of resources. Is he going to have a Ragged Wolf God Hand? No. Even if he had a Ragged Wolf God Hand, it wouldn't do a whole ton. And he doesn't, he doesn't activate any of the any of the Oculus Cannons. I'm going to keep the, uh, the Oculus Cannon. And there's a Bombard. Which means... What does that mean? Which means I can win, right? Because you can attack first, then I can Machinate, and then I can Bombard there. Yep, that's going to be GG. So that's going to kill them. That's going to do that. And then this will finish off the Idol. So, GGWP. That was a close towards the middle of the game, but I just had nice health on the board, and it was hard for him to take it down. Maybe he wasn't running any Quakes, because if he had any Quakes, I may have been in much more trouble, because my Forge Oculus Cannon would take a lot of damage from that. And I'm almost 1,800 ridden now. I am most definitely number one again, um, which I am, so that's good. So thanks for watching everybody, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. I hope this rank match, rank match video today was more exciting than yesterday's rank match video. And yeah, that'll be it for today, so I will see you all tomorrow.